Okay guys, so this is a off-road bumper, front bumper for a WJ. Belongs to my brother. <laughs> and uh, he bought the kit, but he had only a flux uh, core welder. And so this is what he did. He welded this in and there's so much uh, dingleberries and slags. It's so ugly. It's like a kid uh, overgrown with pimples everywhere. And I just feel like I want to pop every one of this off. So uh, he showed it to me and I said, yo, bro, let me finish it for you. Let me pretty it up for you, man. So he gave it to me and left it behind for me to uh, pretty it up. So let's go ahead and uh, grind off all these little dingleberries, make it look pretty, and then uh, clean these areas right here. And then I'll, I'll finalize the welding on the things that he hasn't done. Um, okay, guys, so this is how it looks like. As you can see, the MIG weld is way cleaner, very few spatter. Very few dingleberries, nice. but uh, okay. So I'm gonna grind that off, pretty it up, and I'll show you how the end re the result looks like. Okay, guys. So this is how it looks. Now that the untouched one. You saw all those pimples? Oh, they're ugly. So this is the uh, one that I've grinded off most of the dingleberries. Smooth. I wish my brother would have cleaned it like this first and then wipe it down with acetone. So you, you can see there's a lot of porosity. Uh, this is a lot of cold welding or well, cold weld. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this to the best of uh, best of, that I can. So basically this is the Trail Forge uh, bumper here on the outer here. And that's also a Trail Forge. Here it's the HK winch plate. So these are uh, this, is, this is two different brands, okay, of uh, rock bumper. We're combining them together. We are not welding them together, as you can see. It's going to be modular, meaning that this will come off on its own. That will come off on its own. This will come off on its own. And how this is doing is we've we bolted this here okay and then this isn't the design here but we figure since we've bolted this here this won't be strong enough for uh for rock crawling meaning that if you hit here this thing will go up into the fender here so we reinforced it here okay now we've uh plasma this out and then we put this reinforcement plate right here, tube, and we've, uh, that's what we're done, we've done, okay? That's where we mounted it. So, same thing on this side. You can see we had to plasma this out, okay? And you can see there, we've also played it there, okay? And that's where the power steering unit is, okay? The gear box. And uh, yeah, so it's coming along very, very swell. Once we finish mocking it up or tacking it on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finalize the weld and burn it in. And that's that, guys. Okay, so my son is taking out those bolts that are uh, used to help hold the, uh, the side here, okay? And uh, so, we're going to be taking out this side as well. As you can see, we've tacked the plates here in. We're going to be finalizing this. And we're going to be finalizing that. Okay. So there is a spot right here that I need to build some beads on. So it'll look nice. Okay, so... Yeah, so he's taking out those, and 
yeah, I'm gonna take out this side. Okay guys, so this is how it looks like. I know it looks ugly, but I'm gonna um, grind it down tomorrow, okay? And uh, it'll look really, really nice. I could see it in my mind's eye. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay guys, so this is how it looks like. As you can see, it's totally different from last night. And here, it's been sand down. Okay. And it's gonna look awesome when I paint this thing. Now I'm gonna go work on the other side. It looks awesome. As you can see here. And uh, what I did here is I also gusseted this part. My brother just went and pshk, I told him to tack, but he didn't tack, he just welded it on. So I had a hard time um, switching this, uh, cutting it like that so I could weld here, but it's done and it looks awesome so this one is ready to be weld i mean to be painted basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to wipe this down and i'm going to paint it okay so this is how the other side look i haven't started on it but i'm going to start cutting this at an angle okay this part right here and my brother kind of screwed it up <laughs> see talk about look rookie at work so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to cut this straight down, okay, I'm going to cut this straight down like that, okay, so we're going to angle it this way and uh, build some sort of a gusset here, okay, so that's what I have to do. Okay guys, so it's painted, as you can see here, this one needs uh, more touching up, uh, okay, there you go. It looks really nice. All right. So when my brother comes in, uh, Friday I'll let him be the one who installs it. Uh, this is the back. There you go. Looks really, really nice. Nicely done. So, yeah. <laughs>